The 2014 GSBI Accelerator Program will use GroupSite to collaborate and communicate. GroupSite is a private online meeting space for social entrepreneurs, mentors, and GSBI staff to interact. To get started, you will first receive an email invitation to join GroupSite. After you click on the link to join, you will be taken to this website and prompted to create your GroupSite account. It will take less than a minute. You will then be prompted to set up your member profile preferences. Make sure that under My Email Preferences, you select to be notified of recent activity updates once a day. We highly recommend that you choose to be notified once a day of activity on the site so that you will not miss important messages or discussions. Now that you have set up your notification preferences to daily, you will receive an email each time someone from your team posts a comment, a question, or uploads a file. You should also take a moment to upload a photo of yourself. After you save your preferences, you can either set up your profile or jump right into GroupSite. We suggest you take a few minutes to set up your profile so that members of the 2014 Accelerator will be able to put a face to a name and will know a little bit about your professional background. When you are done, go ahead and jump right into our homepage. The main elements of GroupSite that are especially relevant to you are the homepage, subgroups, modules, the resource library, and important dates. In the homepage, you will see a quick view of subgroups, important dates, a tracking dashboard for module deadlines, a featured discussion section, and a Twitter feed. Each social entrepreneur and their mentors will have a subgroup page, which is your private working space for the program. Only your team members and GSBI staff can view activity within your subgroup. You can access your subgroup from the home page or from the drop-down menu. Within your subgroup, you will be able to access your Social Enterprises Application Materials folder, your Public Diligence folder, and your Private Diligence folder. You will also see all discussions between your team members. You can even start a discussion and can also share files here by attaching a file. In the home page, you also have a quick view of important dates. Module deadlines and open forum webinar dates and times are posted here. If you click on a webinar date, you will see information on how to access the webinar. Module assignment submissions are monitored in the tracking dashboard, which shows you what assignments have been submitted and approved by mentors or what assignments are missing. The dashboard is updated every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you would like to review a webinar, you may download and view webinar recordings and webinar slides at any time from this section. You will also access all eight modules for the program from the drop-down menu. Each module contains program lessons, worksheets, and instructions for the program work. In the module overview, you will find the pre-work schedule and deadlines. In each module, you will be able to download a PDF of the module and a worksheet template for each module at the bottom of each page. There is also a resource library available to you, which you will find helpful as you work through each module. SEs and mentors will collaborate on each module within your team's subgroup page, which is only accessible to your working group and GSBI staff. When the SE completes each module assignment, the SE will upload the completed assignment to the file cabinet within your subgroup. To upload an assignment, click on Share, choose the file cabinet, cabinet, choose your file, and then click on Upload. Next, you will go back to your subgroup page to start a discussion and let mentors know that you have completed your assignment. Type in a message to let the mentors know that you have uploaded the assignment. You can even ask questions or point out specific areas to review. You can also attach your module assignment to the discussion thread to make it easier for your mentors to access the file. Once mentors have reviewed the assignment, they may ask you to make a revision. If you do make changes, go through the upload process again. Mentors should respond to the same discussion thread. If the assignment is not attached to the discussion, it will be located in your subgroup's file cabinet. Here is where you can find it. Mentors need to sign off on the module assignment. Sign off means
means written approval of the module. For example, a mentor may write, great job, let's move on to the next module. They may also write, completed, let's move on to the next module and revisit this later. We encourage you to explore the group site platform and familiarize yourself with it because you will be using it extensively for the accelerator program. If you have any questions about group site, please email the GSBI team at gsbi at scu.edu. Or you can go to the help section and contact GSBI group managers that way. Thank you for being a part of the 2014 GSBI Accelerator Program.